That's what everything we got into this tonight, fellas. All mental. Straight heart, dog. You got to be straight for the heart, man. The 2022 season was loaded with obstacles for the Tennessee Titans. In spite of everything, Tennessee found themselves playing for another AFC South Division title on the final weekend. It's the Titans and the Jaguars tonight with the AFC South on the line. But as they found out over the final month and a half, sometimes one play is all it takes to turn a happy ending into more questions. Biggest play of the game right here. Shotgun for Dobbs. He drops. It's a blitz. An all-out blitz. Hit as he throws. The ball stumbles up. It's been picked up by Allen. He'll return it for a touchdown for the Jaguars. These games often come down to one big play. The season on a seven game losing streak, fighting valiantly but falling here in Jacksonville tonight, 20 to 16. We're out there battling, Joe. You know, I mean, battling their ass off with guys that didn't even start the season with us. The fact that the Titans were even in a position to return to the playoffs is a testament to the attitude head coach Mike Vrabel has instilled. Only three players started all 17 games. An NFL high 86 player saw action. But even a patched together unit showed a toughness that has come to be expected from a Vrabel team. The battle scars from 2022 remain, but for a franchise accustomed to success, they are simply reminders of a place they don't plan on visiting often. It is a team ready to reload and retake the division. It is a team that is battle-tested. It's a division game. This shit means more to us, man. So when you hit that last, hit them again. Hit them again. After starting 0-2, the Titans hit their stride in October, going undefeated in the month on their way to seven wins in their first 10 games. The month started with a win in Indianapolis. The Titans scored all of their 24 points on the first four possessions of the game. To the end zone, the King, Derrick Henry, touchdown, Titans! The defense held the Colts and the defending NFL rushing leader, Jonathan Taylor, to just 38 yards on 23 attempts. And when the Colts creeped closer late in the fourth, the defense locked down the victory. Ball came out. Tight ball. Yes. They ripped it away from Taylor. Ryan dropping. Under pressure. Sack. The crowd streams for the exits at Lucas Oil Stadium. Until we get our asses back into Nashville, we're going to celebrate this. Yeah, yes, sir. Sir. Hey, enjoy this win, but stay hungry. Yeah, stay really hungry. Yeah. We ain't satisfied. Stay hungry, man. Hey, family on three. One, two, three. Hey. The next week in Washington, Tennessee was again living on the edge. They fake a screen, throw back to Hilliard. He cuts at the 10. He jukes at the 5. He goes straight into the end zone. defense was stout once again, and the pass defense saved the win on the game's final play. It's third and goal at the two. Six seconds to go. Wentz takes the snap. Looking, throwing, intercepted! Intercepted, David Long! And the Titans have shut down the Commanders! And that's three in a row for your Tennessee Titans. The streak continued back home against the Colts. Tennessee's second win over Indy in October. Ryan gets rid of it quickly. It's intercepted. Andrew Adams to the house. Great job on the pick. That's the way to make them pay. You know, we all got to 
each other. You feel me? So just stay with it no matter what happens. Derrick Henry topped 100 yards rushing for the third straight game. And kicker Randy Bullock made all four of his field goal attempts. Randy Bullock, money man today. All day. The month came to a close with another road win. With quarterback Ryan Tannehill out, Tennessee rode the back of Derrick Henry. Take a deep breath. No unforced errors. Make them tackle Derrick. Know that's what Tennessee's gonna do. You gotta figure out a way to, to slow down Derrick Henry. As long as we get it into Derrick's hands and everybody knows the play, that's the most important thing. It's very nice to have the luxury of having a guy like Derrick Henry. for the king we all got each other i got y'all back y'all got my back i'm proud to be y'all teammate we family bro it was really cool to see you know one of the premier guys in the nfl on my team and just kind of take over a football game uh, he's like they can't stop me they can't stop me so it's like it's cool to see that because they weren't stopping us run the damn ball Henry ran for a season-high 219 yards. It was the sixth 200-yard game in his career. Four of those have come against the Texans. The difference between this league and our team is we got Derrick Henry. The most 200-yard games in a career, man. Congratulations. Am I tired? Yeah. Man, I'm, I'm winded. I'm all right. Now, tight running back Derrick Henry has been a historical headache for the whole league. He's the most dominant physical back in the NFL, and he's here to carry the load for the Tennessee Titans. Teams have notoriously around the league been paying conscience effort to number 22. They know he is a key to this Titans offense. The big job is to stop or slow down Derrick Henry. you got to make him hit pad his feet and not get that full head of steam. Since arriving to the NFL in 2016, Derrick Henry has been a force of nature, and 2022 was no different. Derrick Henry, 48 yards to Peter. Henry ran for 1,538 yards, second in the NFL, and the sixth highest single season total in franchise history. He owns three of those top six totals. In 2022, he passed Eddie George for the top spot on the franchise rushing touchdown list. Gives Henry, left guard, touchdown, tight. Derrick Henry has another touchdown. The king stays the king. Named to the Pro Bowl for the third time. And named the team's Walter Payton Man of the Year for the second straight year. Try tackling number 22 at your own risk. That was a straight arm. Derrick Henry special. That was a soup bone from way down south. Fresh on Jenkins <laughs> takes his seat. 7,000 career rushing yards, man. Yeah. Henry carries a heavy load normally, but even more so in 2022 with quarterback Ryan Tannehill dealing with injuries. He is hurting. Tannehill is on the ground. The 34-year-old Tannehill ranks first in franchise history in passer rating and completion percentage. It's a play action to go back to Hilliard on the opposite side. He has space to the five, and he's walking into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. In week 11, he led Tennessee to a 27-17 win at Green Bay by completing over 81% of his passes, the second-best single-game completion percentage of his career. Ryan Tannehill, veteran quarterback. He saw them bring the extra man up to the line of scrimmage where he changed that formation. Flipper, flipper, changed the route. Angle route to the back, touchdown. Excellent, excellent drive. Four weeks later, Tannehill re-injured his ankle, ending his season. Make the play. 
Turn into an extraordinary play. Sure. Wide outs on three. One, two, three. Wide, Wide outs. Out. Even with Tannehill missing five games, the Titans had some pass catchers making headlines. Robert Woods returned from a knee injury in 2021 to play in all 17 games, leading the Titans in receptions and yards receiving. It was Woods' 10th straight season with at least 500 receiving yards. No one in the NFL has more. Nick Westbrook Akine leads the team in receiving yards and touchdown catches over the last two seasons. His two touchdown day against Denver in week 10 led Tennessee to a 17 to 10 win. Fires left corner of the end zone. Good toe drag sweat. Little toe drag sweat. I like it. Going to give Henry a turn. He pitches it back to Tannehill. He throws deep right side. There's Westbrook and Keeney. 63 yards. And the Titans are ahead for the first time today. You know, it was a flea flicker play, you know, a gadget play that works perfectly. As soon as the ball was snapped, the corner that I was bluffing on, you know, he slipped and fell. And that was just a huge alert. I uh, got my eyes back to Ryan, saw the ball in the air, and then trying to find the end zone. That's really how I was going to get And tight end Austin Hooper finished second on the team in catches. Since 2016, the only tight ends with more catches than Hooper are Travis Kelsey, Zach Ertz, and George Kittle. Touchdown, tight! Austin Hooper! Let's go. 90% Hoop. We're getting 90 today, Hoop. Break away. Change your face. You're getting plenty of opportunities, okay? Let's go. He grabbed you, the kid missed it. The guy's a rookie, just like you. In 2022, the Titans rookie class flashed signs of excellence. Going for Burks, he's got it at the 20. He's over 100 yards. First round wide receiver Traylon Burks caught 33 passes for 444 yards, ninth best among rookie wideouts. And his touchdown catch against Philadelphia can only be described as fearless. Tannehill pops, throws for the end zone. up with the catch, takes a brutal hit as he catches his first career touchdown pass. Yeah, it was a huge play. You know, took a big hit there and, and held on to the ball. First thing when I saw him in the locker room at halftime, he said, I wasn't going to let that ball go. So uh, it just tells you a lot about the kind of guy he is and the competitor he is. Second round pick Roger McCreary was one of just three rookie cornerbacks to start 17 games in 2022. He finished with 85 tackles and showed the savvy of a grizzled vet. McCrary tipped it back in bounds and it's intercepted by Kalou. Oh, what a play. Herbert was throwing it away. And McCrary, knowing that he couldn't pick it off, played a little volleyball. Third round pick Nicholas Petit Frere started 16 games, playing over 90% of the offensive snaps. Swinging it downfield. Kill your Fourth round tight end Chig Okonkwo established a franchise record for receiving yards for a rookie tight end with 450 yards. Hunter Ryan Stonehouse set an NFL record for yards per punt, breaking the record set by Sammy Ball way back in 1940. Stonehouse averaging 53 yards per punt this season. We have some big questions to answer off season, but I'm excited for what the future brings. With that, I would like to introduce and welcome Rand Carthon as the Tennessee Titans general manager. 
Once I got the call to interview here for the GM job, I knew that this was a place I wanted to be. Rand Carthen was hired as the team's fifth general manager since the franchise moved to Tennessee. The former director of player personnel in San Francisco made it clear in his first draft where he wanted to improve the team. Man, we're going to turn this card in and make you a Titan officially, man. We're a guy that we coveted, that, we, that we've liked for a long time, and we think you come in here and help us build this thing right. With the 11th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Peter Skaronski, offensive tackle, Northwestern. Tennessee made six picks, all on offense. Peter Skaronski will combine with free agents Andre Dillard and Daniel Brunskill to give the offensive line a new look. In the second round, the Titans grabbed what could be their future at quarterback. With the 33rd pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Will Levis. Quarterback, Kentucky. Levis made headlines for dropping out of the first round when many predicted he would be selected in the top 10. When Levis will get an opportunity is undetermined, but Tennessee left the draft happy to add him to the roster. Just be gracious and thankful for this opportunity, okay? Because you've earned it, and and this this everything happens for a reason. No coach in franchise history has won more games in his first five years than Mike Vrabel. There we go. Now just keep coming back with some different, you know what I mean? Work some hands. Now if these guys are playing higher, now we get back into that, right? Inside out, close the distance. Don't Vrabel hop. has a unique combination of knowledge of the game and ability to connect with his players. I just think you just have to be able to understand Remember, when these guys are down at Fox 1 and they're going in there to crack, yeah. they're going right now. Because okay. they're the not safety. coming up you. Yeah, I mean, you just check your safety. Right, if I see my safety already down, he's got to go in there now if he's going to get him. I'm coming off with speed, and as I start to see bodies, now I'm reading where he's at. The 47-year-old Vrabel wears his heart on his sleeve. Great toughness right there. Great job. That Big was never more Great evident toughness. than in week okay. 7. Pro Bowl center Ben Jones battled through injuries, refused to quit, and helped the Titans win a game. Titans pushing the pile. 50, 45. Wow! The Titans out-toughed them today. For a coach that preaches toughness, it was a proud moment. I've never seen anything like I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen anything like that. I love you like my home. You hear me? I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Okay? As a player, Vrabel played on tough defenses for both Pittsburgh and New England. Okay, so we just can't take lapses. We can't take days off. Okay, greatness and being great doesn't take a day off. He has built a defense in Tennessee that has shown signs of greatness. Let's get a TFL right here. Get TFL right here. In 2022, Tennessee allowed just 76.9 rushing yards per game, number one in the NFL. They're going to run him on the right side, Titans. Force him to back up, and then they all run to the ball. Piri, Piri is taken down for a loss of nearly three by Cole. He is taken down for a loss by Weaver. third down, they were ranked third. Floats it, left side ball, incomplete. Here comes the heat. Mahomes stepping up, in trouble. The Titans going to get the ball back. There's a party in the backfield. We're going to get the first sack. The defense was anchored up front by Jeffrey Simmons, who was named second team All-Pro and made his second Pro Bowl. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I need some juice. I need some juice, D. Come on, D. Nick 
Francisco Autry, in his second year with the Titans, recorded a team-high eight sacks. He ran right over the top of number, number 68. That was a great job by Danico. Do it again. Straight. Come on, D, let's go. On a team hurt by injuries all season, no one remained more durable than safety Kevin Byard. Byard has gone seven years without missing a game. Byard's down the middle, passes, intercepted! Byard! One thing on Byard's whip, fellas, let's go! In 2022, he led the Titans in tackles and interceptions. That had never been done in team history, but Byard has now done it two straight years. Star power on defense, and Derrick Henry climbing the NFL's all-time rushing list. The battle-tested Titans will enter 2023 with an eye on reclaiming the AFC South. Man, that's what a family do right there, and we battle to the end.